morning everyone. So it's day two of running the hounds because there's so many of the buggers that we have to split them into two groups. So I run dogs every day. But yesterday was all the ones and the younger puppies. And today is my more foster. We actually know what we're doing and don't have to be taught how to run ones. So let's go. In case you're wondering why some of the dogs have their collars on, it's because a few of them are currently quite bored with life. And if we don't put the collars on them, they might decide to just take a run through the bushes to find something to hunt. So yes, preventative measures are in place. Um, and then also, usually, like, I would run them close to the house, so by now they'd already be on the floor. Unfortunately, that paddock by the house currently has cattle in it, and we do not want to mix the puppies who are still going to train with a herd of cows, because that is asking for a nightmare. So I have to go to a wider road and a cowless road, and then we'll drop them there. Yeah. Sure you can hear them? Let's go. This is how I keep track of the dogs if they were to try anything, but thankfully so far they're not stripping. They're just running by the car, but yeah, there's the GPS for when we need it. Good dogs! Here's his come, 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 you lost your whip, didn't you? No. Come on. Come on, all again. You gotta put your front legs up. Like that. And your back legs up, like that. There we go. Come on, Bima. Who are we short? Uh, inside, inside, come on. Can we go? In fact, I'm going get her tough is just causing an harassment in general. All right, everyone. So that is it today for today's video. So I'd ended a little bit abruptly, but I forgot to do extra footage afterwards and I was a bit busy running after dogs. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week on the next video.